Camo Fitness is dropping their new Shadows collection. Last time we did a video with Camo, it was actually for their Back to Nature collection, which if you remember that video, I vibed heavily with. So I'm very excited to introduce their new collection coming this Tuesday, May 31st at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is actually their anniversary collection. Let me know in the comments, is this your first time hearing about Camo Fitness? Or have you heard of them, always wanted to try them? Have you tried them before? If so, what's your favorite collection? What do you like from them? So for me, I've tried three of their collections so far, including this one. I've tried their Back to Nature collection, the Fantasy collection, and now their Shadows. Hint, hint, I think the Shadows just might be my favorite one yet. And you will see why in just a minute. As we know, every brand out there is known for something in particular. Like, what do they stand for? So with Camo Fitness, something I appreciate about them is that they're affordable. There is no piece in the Shadows collection that goes over $35. So when I first tried them, going into it, I already knew what they stand for, but I wanted to put it to the test because I wasn't sure if it's affordable, where does the quality stand with them? To my surprise, the first collection Back to Nature that I tried, I was impressed. The quality was there, the durability factor, and the cute prints. It was the same thing with the Fantasy Collection too. That's when I noticed, okay, there's a consistency with this brand. Because of their affordability, I do plan on doing more camo fitness videos in the future. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you are a camo fitness fan or a fan of affordable activewear in general. You guys know we cover a variety of activewear on this channel. I know lately I've been doing a lot of more higher end expensive, so it's nice to mellow it out with some affordable pieces. So today I'll be sharing with you my top picks from the new Shadows collection. Each of these pieces I chose specifically because they each have a personality of their own. Huge thank you to Camo Fitness for sponsoring today's video. We have a real healthy variety of nudes, some light colors, some dark colors. I know you see that print. Don't act like you don't see it. So let's start off with what I'm wearing. You guessed it. This is a bodysuit, bitch. So I'm wearing the black bodysuit, but they also got it in the roasted pecan color. This is the Cora Athletic Bodysuit. I'm gonna say right here, right now, that this is my favorite color out of every single color that they offer in this collection. Are you surprised? This isn't exactly a nude per se, but what it is, it's got a little bit of that clay factor in it, right? A little brick, if you may. Almost like a reddish blushy tone hue. I'm obsessed. Pecan. Roasted pecan. I love this color. So after trying on the black bodysuit and now I'm in the roasted pecan, I'm feeling a little bit of let up, all right? The black is slightly tighter because of the dye. So I didn't see as much wrinkling when I move on the black. I'm seeing a little bit of that here. My size small, pretty dang good. This is actually one of the more comfortable bodysuits that I've worn. The quality is there. Like you got the thick straps, the built-in bra. I actually paired it with the Gymshark Whitney cardigan. I told you guys, I love to pair my bodysuits with a loose cardigan, a pair of sneaks. Like look how cute this looks. I actually plan to wear this exact outfit tomorrow. The weather's supposed to be nice, unlike right now, it's torrential downpour outside. But Bay and I are going to attempt to go to a winery for the day, sit in the grass, lounge in the sun and drink some wine. So I figured this would be comfortable to do that. So let's actually look at this bodysuit for what it is right now. So their material isn't like this super lightweight second skin. It's more thick, durable, you're not gonna see through it kind of thing. It's not transparent, which is good. In fact, the black bodysuit was pretty squat proof, almost 100% squat proof. I'm wearing dark undies and the roasted pecans, almost 100% squat proof too. You do have bagging right here if you really pull this up to let the V seam sit where it's supposed to sit. I notice I'm feeling a little bit of that extra bagginess going here. I think if you're in between, size down. I think you could get away with that with how stretchy it is. Look at that, okay. I do think I could have got away with sizing down, but I'm cool with my small so that these don't cinch in anymore because they did a decent job not having a crazy cinch here, but me sizing down, I think it would start to become a little bit uncomfortable in this area. So if you don't mind a little bit of grab here and you want it real skin form fitted tight, in this color, I would suggest just sizing down. I'm honestly trying to understand this print. I am. It still hasn't come to me. 
<laughs> it's called the Very Perry. So we have the Serenity shorts. These are six inch shorts. To match it, we have the Sydney tank top. Now this has a huge keyhole right in the back. You want an eye catching set? Look no further. You're done, you're done here. Looks like a monotone mosaic, like, am I right? <laughs> So we got the Serenity shorts, six inch. This is what I'm most comfortable with because they're more biker style than anything. I'm a size small on the top right now and I sized up to a medium in the shorts. Very glad that I did because I'm still kind of experiencing a little bit of a cinch going on here, like expected. Usually with tight fitted shorts with seams because keep in mind there's seams here. I get that, you know, I get that little sausaging. I'm very particular when it comes to this area of my legs. So I'm glad that I sized up for sure. This tank top with these high-waisted shorts looks like a stinking onesie. Very minimal seams. Like there's no front seam on any of their bottoms. Thank goodness, yay. Cause we all know no front seam equals no dreaded CT. Cause nobody likes a CT. So you do have the minimal seams. You have the black to match the background going straight across and into the V seam right back here. I do have to say, I noticed with camo fitnesses V seam in the back, it runs a little bit low. So when it runs low, I have to really hike them up in the booty area to make my glutes look appear a little bit bigger. <laughs> Where the V-seam lies, it almost shrinks the glutes up slightly. So as long as I pull it up and really put it above my glutes, then it really just accentuates the glute area majorly. Even sizing up, I'm not experiencing any crazy baggy wrinkling going on. If you guys remember my Back to Nature collection, all that leopard print, the one critique I had was that the pattern faded right around the glute region. Ever so slightly, you saw a fade when you squat. Did. <laughs> It's worth noting whether it fades in certain real meaty regions, and in this case, the very peri, however the frick you say it, is not fading. I also think that might have to do with the fact that I did size up in the shorts, so that could be it, but nevertheless, there's no sign of fading for the print, which, two thumbs up. And to top it all off, this beautiful pattern is 100% squat proof. The big takeaway from this tank top is the keyhole in the back. Really love that because this pattern can be overwhelming a little bit, especially pattern on top of pattern. And God, could you imagine if I got the legging version of this? <laughs> That's a lot of freaking very peri. I'd be looking like Violet from Willy Wonka. This is what I'm looking like underneath this crop top, okay? The built-in bra right here. What's cool is you can take, if you want this to be a sports bra, you can take this overlay here and just shove it in. This is what I like to do. It's just kind of, you know what? I'm not in the mood for a crop top today. I want to show a little tummy action. Pop it on up like this. Sports bra from the back, look at that, DIY. My second favorite piece out of today's haul has got to be none other than the flare leggings. These are their Lovada flare leggings. These are the second priciest of them all. So where the bodysuit was 35, we got $33 for the flare leggings. I just have to say something. Do you remember my aloe yoga video where I spent over $100 for flare leggings? Over $100 <laughs> These are 33. We have a 31 inch flare. I'm not gonna lie, I was scared. When I saw that inseam, I said, there's no way. There's no way that that's gonna fit me right. It's kinda right, you know, it does drag on the floor ever so slightly, but you know what? I decided I'm gonna be wearing them out with some wedges. Something also worth mentioning is the fact that they don't have those annoying like white tags. I don't care if brands say that you can like slice them off with a scissor or they're easy pull tags, I still feel them. I don't know if it's in my head or not, but the scratchiness, like there's no way that I don't feel it. I feel it. And whether it's flipping out on my sports bra or just at my ankle, there's always an itchy tag on activewear. With camo, they actually just printed it on the band so you can see all like the material and things like that. So these are the Serenity four inch shorts. Again, they're two inches shorter than that very peri print short you saw. Both are Serenity, same thing, just shorter and the band is different. So to pair with the flare leggings and these shorts, I actually grabbed the Aria tank top bra. These flares feel a little bit thinner than the bodysuit, just a little bit. Without these, I'd be just mopping up the streets. These are little baby wedges too, so you can get away with a little two incher, maybe one incher. You should be good if you're my height. This is a tricky area right behind your kneecap. So there's a bit of bunching in material. You go from straight form fitted to all of a sudden you got like this loose bell bottom. So 
I can see that. It's not a huge deal, but it's just enough to, for me to be like, like, damn. There is something I just have got to mention, and that is how flattering these make the peach look. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? This is insane. Yes, please. I think it has to do with the fact that it's that yoga material, but a little bit on the thinner side, so your glutes are just... They're just gonna pop on through these. Love the high waist, kind of snatches it in. There's no dreaded CT, but then again, I am wearing underwear. I do feel like this has potential to ride up if you're not wearing underwear. So don't not wear underwear. In terms of squatting, I feel like everything is moving with my body. There's no weird gapes or anything. There's no chance in hell I'm wearing flares to the gym, so don't get it twisted. But just in case, just in case I wanna squat down, and do something, get low, maybe on the dance flow. I'm really excited to see Flair's making a stellar comeback. This is, it's about time. Out with straight legs. Nobody wants you anymore. We want to turn into hippies again. <laughs> and we got about 95% squat proof on these, so. This top felt so heavy and dense when I was holding it, and then I put it on and it feels light as a feather. Tell me how that works. The support on this is super low. I most definitely think you could get away with sizing down in this. I know, I know I could. I definitely could. It almost feels like there's a little extra room right around here. If I size down, I feel like the girls would just be like, mm, real nice and beefy right here. And of course you have the removable bra pads, but I gotta talk about this backing real quick. You have this seam that goes diagonally. I think this is a really cool asymmetrical type of backing going on here. And then you got that crisscross overlay with the whole open peekaboo front. I think this is a really sexy white tank. They took a plain white tank top and they said, that's not good enough here. No, that's not how we do it at Camo Fitness. We're gonna spice it up and add a little sex into your life. Serenity shorts, four inch. This is their shorter short right now. First and foremost, I sized up to a medium. I think these mediums are working. Sometimes when I size up, I'm like, shit, there's all this extra material. But in this case, sizing up worked because it's still form fitted in the areas that matter and it doesn't sausage in my quads. Anti quad muffin, baby. That's what we're all about here. At least for me. The flares were super high waist, so it actually had full coverage in the front here with this tank top. But with these shorts, you're seeing a little bit of tummy, which is pretty cute. But only right here where it dips down on the band, do you see a little tummy? Everywhere else is still pretty full coverage. I would say that this material of camos is gym friendly for sure. I think there's a comfortable amount of breathability, stretch. I do think that if you're a heavy sweater, this does have a lot of potential of getting kind of soggy feeling. So with that being said, I think you already know what's about to come. Let's do a sweat test. Always gotta try it on the lightest color, am I right? So sweat is definitely visible, no doubt about that. We're one minute in, I'm still seeing the sweat. So while we're waiting for this to dry, let's talk roll up. We have no roll up after doing like 30 different squats. <laughs> But because I sized up, there is a little bit of a gape going on back here when I squat. It's form-fitted around my waist when I'm standing, it's just when I'm at a low squat is when I'm feeling that little bit lip up. So like I anticipated, we're three to four minutes into the sweat test and I'm still seeing a sweat patch. So in my opinion, I'm not sitting here running miles in this, all right? It's low support as it is. So we have their classy mesh tank top sports bra with their classy mesh legging 25 inch. I'm feeling it, it feels a bit tight, not the most comfortable legging, especially compared to the more solid pieces. This mesh legging actually has a ton of seams going on everywhere, so I feel those seams. I feel them underneath my skin here. Underneath? No, I meant, you know what I mean. I feel them on my skin. That's what I hate about seamed leggings, when there's too many seams in certain areas, like the real meaty areas, uh, especially the kneecaps where you're bending, you feel them. It's friction underneath the legging, up against your skin. If I could do it again, I would size up in this mesh legging, just to make this mesh and the seam paneling a little more comfortable for me. The actual mesh paneling goes all the way around your shin area to the back of your kneecap and wraps around the back of the thigh like it's one big swoop. Yeah, it's feeling a little bit tighter around the joint area. I'm not gonna lie, that mesh is kind of in the way for me along with the seams. And I don't know what's going on back here. 
can pull this up. I almost feel like this is pulling down. Like I'll pull it right up, but as I'm squatting repeatedly, it's pulling down. I think it's because this area is so tight that it's just pulling down the rest of the legging. They are 100% squat proof, so they did good in that department with the black being super opaque. So even though there's mesh with some breathable factors going on here, I think the legging as a whole isn't very breathable. And I think in the summertime, if you're thinking of a summertime legging, this just wouldn't be it. So me personally, out of everything you've seen, I would definitely stick to the shorts, the bodysuit, the flares. The mesh were a really cute idea, but they're just not working for me. The bra is a different story though. I love this bra. So this is an actual bra. In my opinion, the other ones were just more of a tank top kind of look, very low support. This is the most supportive of them all. You actually have a really thick elastic band right here. You have a higher support, better coverage in the front, removable bra pads, and this really pretty mesh strip paneling underneath to allow some flow. It is not adjustable, but the entire backing is mesh except for the baseband. So I think it's a really beautiful sports bra, and if you're looking for something more functional, something with higher support, then check this one out. Tell me right now, what on earth are you thinking of these pieces? They really nailed it with being a little bit different, staying up to trend with the bodysuits and the flares. Those two things, I just needed more in my life, and now I got it. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or found it helpful. Let me know down below, are you shopping this launch? And what are your thoughts of these pieces, colors, and prints? Definitely hit that subscribe button for future videos just like this. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in my next video.